Hear that? It's the sound of the German capital getting an economic boost. No wonder these revelers are having so much fun. While other parts of the country are known for cashing in on mighty mountains and fancy cars, it's partying that draws many to Berlin. Now a new study has shed a strobe light on just how much the clubbing industry is worth. More than 9,000 people work in the city's clubs. Establishments that attract some 3 million out-of-town visitors every year. They, in turn, generate an estimated 1.48 billion euros during their stay. So how do clubs turn a profit? Well, taking care of the basics seems to do the trick. Food and drink account for 60% of revenue. Admission fees fill up about a fifth of the pot. Location bookings and sponsorship deals make up most of the rest. So can technonomics help change perceptions? The study's authors certainly hope it can. The report calls on politicians to recognize the economic as well as cultural value of the city's clubbing scene. Uh, and for more on that, I'm joined by Lutz uh, Leixnering. He's the spokesman of the Club Commission the, uh, Berlin, which is the body behind that study. And he's also a member of Berlin's Chamber of Commerce and Music Board, where he frequently vo votes on city development issues that serve to protect club areas affected by gentrification. So obviously there seem to be some problem. Good to have you here. First of all, why that study? Why was it necessary? Because the last study was 12 years ago, and I think it makes sense to <laughs> update the dates. And um, yeah, it's important to see um, on an economic, but also on a cultural and social level, what is uh, the city benefiting by the clubs. But, but is that study aimed at politicians, first and foremost? The public, for our members, but also for politicians who make decisions, of course. Okay, so, so what do you hope to achieve by that? Um, I think we have a high reputation and, and I think we also have a strong support, but uh, we also need to uh, fight um, against real estate in the city. There's gentrification happening and I think we have a lot of uh, upcoming topics. We have, have to have good arguments and numbers always help. So Berlin's uh, club culture is uh, somewhat under threat, I understand then. What, what are the biggest challenges? I think the biggest challenge is, um, of course, change of a city, uh, which uh, should be in a balance when it comes to the creative scenes. We need to protect our creative spaces. Um, we don't want to have shopping malls uh, all over and, um, and townhouses. We also have to look where are the, where is the identity of the city? Where are the people meeting? Uh, where, where are the hubs and the protected spaces for marginalized groups? Um, and of course, where are the, sp uh, uh, the stages for our artists? And how does that work out? I, I do remember that there was quite a controversy when it comes uh, to friction between uh, club owners and residents when it comes to the noise. You know, how do you resolve that? Uh, we actually managed to happen, and this is also exemplarily for, um, for other cities, um, to get 1 million euro uh, for a noise protection fund from the city, uh, which helps us now to actually build walls and um, different entrance situations to protect neighborhoods. Uh, and and, and uh, could you elaborate the, the gentrification issue again? Because obviously it means uh, that a district is, is very popular, which is also good for the clubs there. Yeah, and I think clubs are also part of gentrification, of course. But um, the question is, at what point is the tipping point that, uh, that only people um, come in who benefit from what is actually there? And the clubs, I think, um, they, they actually um, deliver a lot of um, benefits to the communities uh, when it comes to to space where people can meet, where, um, where, where art is presented, but also um, a social hub for, for communities. And, and then just briefly for our viewers around the world, when they come to Europe, what makes Berlin clubs different? How do they differ from clubs in Barcelona or Paris? First of all, it's the amount. I think there's not a city in the world which has more clubs than Berlin, but also the diversity. We have um, a lot of clubs which specialize on niches, um, and um, and I think that is the. It's just not a not a club scene which is only based on top forty hits and bottle service, which you can see in any other city in the world. Okay, Lutz Leixenring, the board member of the Club Commission Berlin. Thank you so much. Thank you.